so I was messing around in the new 1.16 snapshots, and I found something really interesting for Survival Minecraft, and something I know personally I will be using a lot. So my idea is to use weeping vines and twisting vines as scaffolding, and we can farm them pretty easily. Um, with one bone meal, they grow a ton, and they drop, you know, they drop, um, weeping vines or twisted vines, respectively, about a third of the time each. So, they, they grow pretty tall, just, you know, or, you know, they, they grow a lot just from one bone meal. So, setting up a farm with them wouldn't be too hard, and also, an, uh, a good reason that we could use this as scaffolding is we can place this on pretty much any block except for um, transparent blocks but we can put it on glass so that's you know that's useful that's cool um, it, it may be a little bit confusing as how to use this as scaffolding first because what you need to do is you climb up and you press shift and you'll stop moving and then you place a block and it'll be behind you and then you can like branch out from here but um yeah so you know just say i wanted to build that way i'd go up here and i'd press shift at the height i wanted i'd right click and then turn around and then go over here and it's just that easy um so what i've gonna uh, excuse me but um what i've gone ahead and done is i've made two nice little farms um this one pretty small uh probably not gonna get you a lot of vines in a long amount of time but it is it's small enough so that you can put it in a large area and i bet you could get an effective yield from that this one is a monster and it'll eat away at your bone meal. Uh, I actually had to put a lot in here because, um, you know. And, and you do need to make it pretty tall because when you bone meal these twisted vines, they, uh, they grow, yeah, they can grow, like, up to there with, like, just one bone meal, which is pretty insane. Um, now, if you don't want to use these as scaffolding, they, uh, oh, there goes that one. Uh, they also, they also work great for composting, but, uh, you know, so, with this one, yeah, you're definitely not a good, gonna get a lot of yield from this, because, again, they only drop, a th like, a third of the time, but with this, you can, you can get a pretty fair amount, now, I will say that, uh, when I, when I finish this, it just, it just kind of started randomly turning on, and so that might be a problem. It's probably just a, a bug with the snapshots, because, you know, they're buggy. But I'll, I'll go ahead and turn this on and see. I'll show you. I don't have a collection system, but I'll go ahead and put away all the twisted vines that we have in our inventory. And we'll show you guys um, just how much this, this makes in a short amount of time. So, you know, it, it does produce a lot of lag. Again, I'm pretty sure that's just with the snapshots. If you were to make this in, you know, 1.16 when it finally releases, I don't think it would be this laggy. But, go ahead and turn it off. Um, <laughs> it just keeps going away. Okay, I fixed it, but let's... Let's check how much we got here. Um, so we got a stack in like 47. So that's a pretty good amount for, you know, not a lot of bone meal. And also, you don't need a lot of this stuff um, unless you're doing composting, in which case, you know, it's kind of it's a self-sufficient thing. But if we go around the back here, you'll see this is where the lever is. You don't need to do this. You could just have it hooked up right here. But since I had this nice design, um, I decided I would do this. 
but as you can see it's just hooked up to a comparator clock which is hooked up to this this observer and it goes straight into this dispenser full of bone meal and it's just like this other farm which this one is the exact same concept as a sugarcane farm except since when it since it updates when you put one on it like that you see you can just you know it's pretty you know it's it's really small but yeah we went ahead and did the same thing over here so yeah that's that's about it i'm sure it could take a little bit of tweaking but if you really wanted weeping vines you could um i'm sure there's a way to uh flip this upside down and might take a little bit of tweaking i'm not gonna do it today because i'm tired all right that's basically it i know i'm gonna be making one of them in my survival world um so yeah i go i hope you guys enjoyed and i guess i will catch you in the next one goodbye